nice and lovely but it need to cool down first guys and I just cut off a little piece just to make another guys see exactly what I'm Welcome doing. back with Chef Ricardo back in the kitchen one more time again guys Today we want to show you you can make yourself a nice lovely homemade Jamaican coconut tuna. I get the request and I say to myself you know I need to do this recipe you know what I mean it's beautiful, nice, my version of making the Jamaican coconut toto. So if you like the recipe, please leave your comments below. It's very important. I'm going to give you the volume one, but the volume two, which I'm going to come up, I'm going to use the natural coconut to make it, guys. So guys, look out for the volume two. This is the volume one, and I'm going to come with the volume two. So enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, and please leave your comments. Subscribe, guys. It's very important. Yes, you're not missing out anything. So guys, hopefully this will be a benefit to you and it can do help fill some of the gap at home which need to fill is coming up to Christmas and a lot of things need to be done. Enjoy the recipe and see you next time. And this is from Chef Ricardo and Welcome the team. back with Chef Ricardo back in the kitchen again guys. Today we're going to make your Jamaican coconut toto. I get the request and every time I say I want to make it but you know, I just get the chance to make it. First of all, I want to simple say to you but let's put my ball at the side. I have this coconut and also, I buy a pack of coconut. This is the one which already grated. You can get this one at the shop. Already done grated. Um, basically, I don't like to use the grater one. I like to do my one really fresh. But it do takes time, guys. So basically, I just have to just use the one which already grated. So you can buy that at the shop or the supermarket and use that one, guys. So, um, second thing which we're gonna do now, first of all, let's get a measurement cup. This is one cup which I'm gonna be working with, all right? Everything gonna be one pound, one cup. Sorry, guys. First of all, one cup of plain flour. One cup of plain flour. Um, simple one teaspoon of half tea, one teaspoon of grounded not an egg straight inside of it I like my spices and I like to use a lot of spices some cinnamon roughly a pinch of cinnamon very strong so you have to be careful this is mixed spice teaspoon of mixed spice I got some baking powder I'm just gonna put a pinch of baking powder you can see the amount which I'm using is just a pinch straight inside of it also I got some baking soda I'm gonna put a pinch of baking soda you can see it's the same amount like the baking powder so we're gonna measure my one cup of grated coconut straight inside of it nice one simple Use your wood and spoon or your whisk. Simple. Come everything together like this. Nice one. Salt is a must. Teaspoon of salt. As you can see, that's all of the liquid. That's, sorry guys, that's all of the dry ingredients. Put this at the side. Nice one. Right here I have some butter. Oh wow, I don't even recognize that. I have a little crack right there, but that's fine. I have some butter right here, which is three ounces of butter. I use two large spoons of butter. All right? You guys can see exactly what's going on right inside of the kitchen today. So, basically, we're going to put two eggs inside of it like this. Nice one. 
two medium sized eggs. Lovely. Simply use a wooden spoon and give it a beat. Or your fork, whatever you want to use. Teaspoon of vanilla. And also a teaspoon of white rum, two teaspoons of white rum. Or if you have dark rum, it's fine. half cans of coconut milk, half cups of coconut milk, cream inside of it, nice one, you can get that at any local shop or supermarket to buy, coconut milk, with a whisk, I'm just using my, my fork and just beat it, nice one, get back your, in, your dry ingredients, simple pour little by little more and more this one as you can see Next thing I want to simply say to you, I got some grated ginger. I'm using this side of the grater to grate my ginger. I'm using some fresh ginger, which is the best. Nice one. Just a little piece of a fresh ginger I just grated, roughly a teaspoon. If you have dry ginger, you can use that one, but I'm using some fresh one to get in some flavor. Now I have some fruits which I will soak in a head into some water, got cranberry and raisin inside of it. Nice one, so simple. After roughly a cup and a half I'm using. Just a cup and roughly a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter. That's the one cup. Pinch more, which I'll put inside of it. Lovely. Give it a whisk. Oh, <laughs> guys, <laughs> I've been mixing the thing and I forgot about my sugar. Oh, what's going on, Chef Okada? Come on. Alright, one cup of you can use white sugar or brown sugar. I'm using a cup of sugar inside of it. Nice one. I forgot about my sugar. <laughs> the most important part. Uh, come on, Chef. Simply give it a whisk. I use some brown sugar because I don't love, I love brown sugar. gonna get the, the baking tray. Let's get that taste. Mm. Really nice. Really nice. 
butter is unsalted butter and you must melt your butter. So, exactly what you're looking for. Look at that. Beautiful and nice. Mm. Alright, so that's finished. Now we're gonna get the baking tray. This is my oven tray right bake right here. We shall bake my cake in and my sponge cake, all kind of cake, guys. So what you can see, I rub some butter inside of it and I cut out a piece of a grease proof paper, which I'm gonna put inside of it like this. The reason why I rub the butter first because the paper will stick on the butter in the inside of it, as you can see. So I'm teaching you something, guys, if you didn't know. The best thing to do when you're making a cake and you want to put grease proof paper is to rub it. The first thing inside of it is butter. So what happened now? The butter sit inside of it and hold on the grease proof paper inside of it. Alright? Just cut out the paper, mark it around and cut it out with the scissors and then simple, put butter inside and then add it to it. But in the meantime you're doing that, preheat the oven first, gas mark 5 or 7 is good. If you're using a different kind of oven, 165 is good or 175 for 45 minutes. Enjoy the recipe. Now we're going to pour in our liquid, our mixture, straight inside like this. As you can see, looking lovely so far and nice. So now we're gonna put this inside of the oven and we're gonna bake it for 45 minutes. Enjoy the recipe, guys. If you like the recipe, please leave your comments and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as I say, you can add more ingredients, more rum, more ginger, whatever you like, you can add inside of it. As you can see, how the total coconut total look inside of the oven, guys. Beautiful, really nice. I'm gonna take you out now, you know what I mean, and look at it and see it. Look, guys, hopefully, you guys like the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments. Thank you so much. Now it is 45 minutes now since I have it baking inside of the oven and I have it on gas mark 5. So, guys, easy recipe, effective, nice. Enjoy it. Nice and lovely. I just take it from the oven really hot. But you know, guys, see exactly what Chef Ricardo is all about. This is the total right here, guys. Looking lovely and nice. As you can see. Nice and lovely. But it needs to cool down first, guys. And I just cut off a little piece. Just to make you know, guys see exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, that's the coconut raisin. And I put some cranberry inside of it. Really nice. But this is a paper. Underneath it, if you move the paper, you can see exactly where Chef Ricardo is at. About you need to cool them first, but every time when I make it, they always say why I didn't cut them. But as you can see, Jamaican coconut total right here, guys. Look at that beautiful and it's heavy. You know, coconut coconut total is not supposed to be light like cake, it's supposed to be heavy. So, as you can see, this is exactly what Chef Ricardo is all about right here. Enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. Hopefully we can come with a lot more. See you next time. Bye bye. Google Plus. So guys, follow me and get more idea. Don't miss out anything. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. And remember, Christmas, we have a lot of idea. Remember the Jamaican rum food cake and sorry. So a lot of things is coming for you guys. So thank you so much and hopefully you have a wonderful time. Enjoy yourself.